In this video, we're going to take a look at the process of using completing the square to find the equation of a circle. So, maybe looking below at the example, I basically have the equation of a circle, but unfortunately it's really difficult to figure out where the center is and what the radius is. Uh, this is because everything has not been factored out yet. So, we'll use that process of completing the square to factor things out, and then we'll easily be able to identify where that center and where the radius is. Alright, so let's start off this process. In completing the square, you want to basically get your variables on one side, and if it doesn't have a variable, go ahead and move it to the other. This will give us a 4x squared plus 8x plus 4y squared minus 36y, and then it's the 59 that I will move to the right. Very good. Now, if you have any coefficients in front of your squared terms, like I do, go ahead and factor them out. So I'm going to factor a 4 from my x's. There we are. And it looks like I can also factor a 4 from my y's. Very good. Now, the next step is probably one of the most important. We want to end up adding a number that will basically make this factor very nicely. To figure out that number, you'll take these two coefficients in front of your linear terms, divide them by 2, and square them. This will give us a couple of numbers that, when added, will make things work out very nicely. Let's start off with the x's. So, take the 2, divide it by 2, and square it to see what you get. So on the inside, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 squared is just a 1. So this is one of the numbers that I'll need to add to my x terms. Let's do the same thing for the y. So I'll take a negative 9, divide that by 2, and we'll square that. See on top, 9 times 9, this will be an 81 fourths. Now sometimes they do t tend to be fractions like this, but you just have to go with it. So here's the second number that we need. So with each of these numbers, we now need to add them to the x and the y parts. So what I suggest is you rewrite the equation and leave extra room for these new numbers. Okay, so here's that same equation we just had, and now notice I've written some extra space so I can put in the 1 and the 81 fourths. Alright, so let's put them in there. So there's going to be a plus 1 here, and plus 81 fourths. Now, another important thing that you have to be very careful of when doing the completing the square is to balance out your equation. So notice on the left side, we've just added a whole bunch of numbers. I need to balance those out by adding the same amount to the right side. Be careful. Since we've factored out some numbers, like the 4s, we've actually added more than just 1 and 81 fourths. Let me explain. So here it looks like we've added 1, but the 1 is being multiplied by 4. So actually we've added 4 in this term. So to balance that out, I will add a 4 on the other side. For this, it looks like I've added 81 fourths, but again, it's being multiplied by 4. So really, you know, if I want to figure out what I've added, I can multiply those two together, and it looks like I've added 81. There we go. And now things are balanced out. So now with this equation, we can take it, uh, factor the x's and the y's, and maybe combine these terms out here. So I get an x plus 1 squared plus 4. Looks like we have a y minus 9 halves squared equals 59 plus 4 plus 81, 144. There we go. So we're definitely uh, marching our way towards the end. Now with these 4's out front, we can divide everything by 4. There we go. And now it's finally in a great form that I can actually figure out what the center and the radius is. So to figure out the center, 
you want to look at your numbers next to x and y. This will give us a center at negative 1 and a positive 9 halves. For the radius, that comes from this end guy, but it's the radius squared that equals 36. So think, what number squared will give you 36? Well, the only thing that comes to my mind is when the radius is equal to 6. All right, so there you can see we've identified the center and the radius, and this problem is basically all wrapped up.